is the newest piece of our cook kit. We got the G stove oven this year. Join me while we give it a try with apple pie and homemade roly polies. The G stove oven has a height of 17 inches and a width of 10 inches with a depth of eight inches. The interior oven space is an interior height of six inches and a depth of seven inches. Now the width inside is about 5.8 inches, not quite six inches. It weighs in at 5.3 kilograms or 11.7 pounds. The oven works by having an interior sealed box. The heat from the chimney pipe comes up around the box and warms the inside of the oven. We've got three racks inside that are completely removable. And we also have a glass window on the outside. See what you can cook or what you're cooking. And we've got the thermometer as well. The thermometer goes up to 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be testing out the G stove today by making some apple pie. So I've already got some apples simmering here on the stove. I've added some lemon juice, some white sugar, a little bit of water, and those are ginger gold apples, which are my absolute favorite. That's just about ready to go for the apple pie filling. Okay, the apple pie filling is ready to go. What I've done in order to make things a little bit easier, and it'll, this will make it easier for you uh, when you're in camp too, is I've made the pastry up at home and I've cut it uh, to fit the pie plates. So this is a really uh, easy way to take pastry with you uh, into the back country. I've just uh, separated each piece with wax paper and that's what we're going to use for our pie. So we can get out a piece. We'll put it into our little pie plate here. Anything you can do at home to make things a little bit easier around camp is, is definitely worth it. And you may think, you know, this is too much trouble to go to when you're at camp, but if you're base camping for the day while you're winter camping, you know, there's nothing more enjoyable than sitting in the tent and and uh, making something uh, nice to eat. So there, we've got uh, we've got our pastry in the pie plate, and time to add some filling. Okay, that looks like about enough. Now we're going to add our top piece. We're going to add our top pastry piece now, and of course we want to cut some air vents into it. Seal that up. Add a little bit of milk on the top. A sprinkle of sugar on that before we put it in the oven. That looks great. So we've got our pie ready to go and with the leftover pastry I made up some uh, cinnamon and brown sugar roly-polies. At least that's what my mom always calls them. 
great thing to use your leftover pastry for. Just roll it out into a flat sheet, um, spread margarine over top, sprinkle with brown sugar and some cinnamon, and you can also add raisins. Roll it up and then cut it into pieces. And it makes a wonderful little treat with your leftover pastry. Okay, let's get this in the oven. Ideally, we'd be doing this inside of our hot tent, but because this is a new piece of kit for us this year, we wanted to give it a try and, and test it out. So we just sent the, the uh, stove up outside. So having an oven in the backcountry is a wonderful luxury item. Um, it's really nice to be able to have something that you can actually bake in uh, any time of year when you're interior camping, whether it be a Dutch oven set up with coals on top or an oven arrangement like this. Time to check on our pie and roly-polies. Oh, looks like they're baking up nicely. Looks like our roly-polies are done. Mmm, those look yummy. Looks like the pie is done. Looks like the edges of my crust might have burnt a little. Lesson learned, maybe I'll need to cover that with foil next time for this little oven. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Thanks for joining me, folks, on this uh, test of the uh, G-Stove oven, uh, the pipe oven section. We made some apple pie today and some cinnamon and brown sugar roly-polies. Uh, we've learned a few things about the heat in the oven and trying to regulate it. And now we're going to enjoy some pie and roly-polies.